Welcome, everybody, to the most intellectually comedic podcast on the internet. You know, some people right. think that after the past few episodes, you know, maybe maybe our humor is only for nine year olds. <laughs> no. What do you have to, what do you have to say to that? Well, this is an intellectually comedic podcast. What should we joke about today then? Oh, uh, all right. Um, the, Joe Biden, when he saw the drone strike, he <laughs> initiated onto Syria. He'd be like, he'd be like, oh my God, he on X Games <laughs> mode. <laughs> oh, fuck. Little something for everyone there. <laughs> that was a good mix, man. <laughs> the drone looking at the aftermath of Syria after executing a horrible imperialist act be like, wonky slush. <laughs> oh, now, now it's not fun anymore. See? <laughs> now it's not fun. So maybe just let us fart into the microphone okay and it can be fun for everyone <laughs> what's up guys welcome to the tmg podcast this is actually today's, today's episode today's free episode ah. but if you want uh the bonus episode that went up today as well you can find that on our patreon that's patreon.com slash tiny meat gang and uh the the free episode will be ad free as well on there so uh and if not thanks and enjoy this one peace peace yeah, if you liked that one, be sure to smash that like button, guys. Um, and remember, you can always get another episode of this every week. Cody, why don't you tell them? Where can they get That's this That's right, on patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. If you go and you subscribe, then you get this episode ad-free, and then you get another episode additionally on top. Woo! That's two episodes for the price of two two episodes. Yeah. But you get two. When normally, if you didn't pay, you would only be getting one. So it's, it's I mean, it's like a complete no-brainer. I mean, you'd be crazy not to do it. Patreon.com slash Tiny Meat Gang. You know, plenty of hot intellectual humor coming up this episode. That's um, right. That's right. There's tons of serious intellectual things that we can joke about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like Panuma. Like Panuma. <laughs> Panuma Numa A. <laughs> yeah. Panuma Numa A. Let's talk about it. You've done some research, man. You got to educate me. I was curious. I'm. I wanted to know yeah. more. Okay. So if you don't know what we're talking about, people, there is now a successful a FDA approved penis enlargement surgery called Panuma. And uh, brace, brace, Panuma, 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 Panuma. I can't, bro. I cannot wait till they use that to market to millennials in like a year. Yeah. For Panuma? Yeah. It's going to be yeah. like some pharma commercial where it's like, like, it's going to be some millennial dude sitting at his PC and then he's going to hear the song. He's going to be like, what's that song? He's going to look out the window and he's going to see his millennial buddy doing the dance. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, what? No, the dance is the windmill because they're all windmilling their new dance. Oh, that's right. No, they're flapping it up and down. Flapping it up and down. And it's yeah, going yeah. with their arms. And then it just meets like you just hear. Yeah. Hey, surprise. the narrator comes in. Keep going. Why is he dancing? Because he's, fe he's feeling larger than life. Larger than he's ever felt before. Get yours today at panuma.com. Slash Dr. Miami. Yeah, and then like the dude, the, the original guy that it started on, it ends on his face going. Oh my God, it's the Reddit face. It's so, buddy, you're huge. <laughs> Yeah, so Panuma is a uh, it's a now FDA an FDA approved. approved surgery that people have. Re so there was an article about this <laughs> on where did we Dude, see wait. you sent an article? Wait, wait, wait! Before we get into that, think about the phrase FDA approved. <laughs> Can we really trust that they approved it? 
in good conscience? Like, was it just a guy who came into work that day? And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, he's got his glasses on. He's like, whoa, wait, wait. Wait, wait a second. He gets the paper out. He's like, okay. So you're saying it's going to make it bigger. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's yeah, approved. Yeah, the first yeah. one's like, yeah, new, this- what do we got here? New supplement. Cool. Yeah. Take it on. Okay, new flavor of soda. Cool, that one's cool. Hold up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He gets locks on, his door. Gets on like a big ass phone with buttons. And just... <laughs> hey. Yeah. Yeah. Have you? Yeah, I need to come up to my office. Take a look at this. Dude comes in. He's like, we need to fast track this one. <laughs> yeah, this one. We need this out by. The end of the month. <laughs> we need this out. This is, yeah. Sir, you've covered it with approval stamps. I can't even read what it is. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I'll a few more. It five more. <laughs> Put this one through right away. But, sir, the, the COVID vaccine, we still have the Pfizer <laughs> one. We have to approve that. What did I just say? This one goes in front. <laughs> Show me that COVID vaccine. Give me that COVID vaccine. They're like... <laughs> Cool. Now this is that one. You're just gonna put that one on top. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> Take that. Just like that. <laughs> just. Uh, uh, he's like, mm. oh yeah. My time has come. Oh, Finally. Yeah. Literally. Finally. It's coming. Yep. So, um, daddy's daddy is gonna put that bonus to work. Yes, he is. <laughs> So this procedure, there was an article about it in like the LA Times or or something like that about how like doctors have started doing this. It's like, it's now approved and a bunch of people. So I, I was curious, right? Yeah. I'm just obviously I'm curious. You know, I'm not. I don't want to get it. I'm just curious. It's just a little, you know, a little kind of sort of curiosity in my brain. I'm like, oh, let's do some more research on this, right? Yeah, it could for be the podcast, great, dude. It could be. A, it could be a great Christmas gift. <laughs> for exactly for someone else yeah yeah dude merry christmas what is this it's a ticket to panuma i got you panuma wait i got you panuma oh, oh. <laughs> bro <laughs> 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 numa numa yay numa, numa, yes numa 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 yay <laughs> why are they so happy they're feeling larger than life <laughs> So I wanted to do some research for the podcast for you guys. Yeah. And so I searched it, you know. I went <laughs> Someone's to the got their fucking ear to the speaker hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Cody. Hurry up. Hurry up. Keep hurry up. Go ahead. Keep going. What, 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 what'd you find? What'd you find? What'd you find? What'd you find? <laughs> it's a real thing. It's a real thing, and many people have gotten it. It's they Holy, shut up. Cut they cut you open, right? Like on your bladder area and they basically insert like a plastic thing down your shaft and i guess like the way it works is that like once you heal the shaft kind of like moves out of your body and like pushes your dick like just makes it bigger i think i don't know i'm not a fucking doctor but that's the way i understood it and there's like dudes like the whole community around it now of dudes being like wow great results like posting pictures of their dick and the other one's like are they were they good results results what were they good results? Like, did they oh, post definitely good results? Before's and afters. <laughs> I mean, it depends, right? It's like it's like surgery. I mean, like anything can go wrong. There's like people that yeah. like lose sensitivity completely. There's people that lose length, which is like that. Imagine that fucking nightmare. You recover from surgery and your dick's half as big. Big hedge. Like, big <laughs> seriously, hedge. it's a big risk or a small risk, <sighs> depending. But couldn't depending. you just do it again? Like, if it doesn't take, couldn't you just try again? I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah, because it seems like <laughs> every guy. Yeah, could you wait? Could, could you? you well, 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 like, <laughs> what's the what's the rate of half half lengthening? <laughs> and if that doesn't happen, how much length does it? Add? I think in most <laughs> cases it adds some girth. <laughs> I think in all cases actually, but yeah, because you're putting thing, like that's risky. It's basically like you're putting like a a, a Hot Wheel chassis mm-hmm. on your dick. That's what it looks like. You, you see, you see the chassis of a big penis. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's what s- slides into your body. <laughs> it's you know, it's like some NASCAR shit. You know, 
the actual <laughs> car underneath the NASCAR case, you don't. The motor could be smaller, could be bigger, it doesn't matter. But on the outside, it looks like yeah. a NASCAR. You know, it's just fiberglass. Yeah. yeah, it's just all one solid piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It now, might, it might still perform the same. Yeah, you know, but at least it looks good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now let me, let me. It's like a kit car actually for your penis. Now let me ruin everybody's day. I think it costs like eighteen thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Everybody but, came uh, off the speaker. Oh. <laughs> no, no, but I read a couple people that like basically took out loans to do this. <gasps> Which you can also do. You can I think plastic surgery places have like payment plans. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can, you know, you can pay for this as, as I mean, if it were like a, new uh, like a dentist. speaker system or something like that. Dentists have that shit as well, like for braces. So that that makes sense. There you go. So it's not completely out of it, but it's just it's funny. Like, how have we? How has it taken? Like, twenty twenty one. Finally, there's big dick surgery. Yeah, it's wild how long this has taken. Dog, you know what? <clears throat> this works for us though. Give it a couple years, then you're gonna get all the women going. Oh, just can't trust anyone anymore. All these guys, you know, they get the Panuma thing, and you can tell. <laughs> you can tell. But you know what yeah. it's done for me? It's kind of ruined big dicks for me. Yeah, same. <laughs> Same. It's just like, it's not, you know, lately I've been looking for men who are a little bit smaller. Yeah. Yeah. I like the more natural look. It just feels more confident. Yeah. You know, you can exactly. just a little bit more trustworthy. They just own what they have. And now we're going full Roman. And that's when we're going to get the the Renaissance period of the, the tiny penis. Of the laying on top of the balls. <laughs> yeah. Dick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cut like a little cocoon, just like a nice nice cushion. It's like a hammock. Yeah. Shredded as fuck with the smallest <clears throat> dick ever. <laughs> That's gonna be the ideal look. That's gonna be the ideal look. A man fuck, who man. can I'm living in the wrong wrong generation. Yeah, man. a man who can take care of you, build a a fortress and but doesn't have a bolt on willy. Mm mm. No. Has an all natural willy. Yeah, he's. I don't know. He had this big fake dick. It was, just, it was just whatever. You know, fake, real. It all just starts to just starts to be meaningless. <laughs> like, oh great, another big dick. What about some personality? It's like sure, it looks good in pants, but it's just it doesn't hang the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah plus i'm getting older and just doing the whole ah thing it's just <laughs> a lot harder and i mean those panumas i mean my god <laughs> i i you know what i want to know if maybe someone who listens to us has gotten it maybe you know <laughs> Dude's got i'd like to know you know what we should have someone on next week what you say? <clears throat> yeah we, we should, should have, have someone on guest. next week that has had it and we could Talk to him about the recovery. Did you lose length? Did you? And we're all gonna be like this. Yeah, he's gonna be ear to ear with that or with that shit eating grin. <laughs> yep, dick's fucking huge now, <laughs> doubled in size. It's uh, it's guys. I don't want to sugarcoat it. It's fucking massive. <laughs> <laughs> I got a big old dong now, guys, and I and I I can't even really be humble about it because there's no reason to be. I have no. a big ass dick. It's fucking huge. I don't think I've worn underwear since I've got this thing. <laughs> yeah, all I wear are compression shorts. It's amazing <laughs> what you get by with in this world with the Panuma and some compression shorts, man. Yeah. I got a new Audi R8. I didn't pay for it. Just went to the dealership. Everyone jumped back. Holy fuck. Look at that guy's dick. Get him a car. Fast one now. Oh, my God. Look at his dick. Oh, my God. Oh, I wish my husband had your cock. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a penis that's a cock <laughs> <laughs> and now I ride down the street blasting Numa Numa A yeah hey guys we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode Native Native aluminum free deodorant is a great addition to your 2021 routine yes Native cares about what you put on your armpits that's why their deodorants ingredients list includes things you've actually heard of like coconut oil and shea butter 
Another plus, none of their products are tested on animals, except us, of course. And almost everything is vegan. <laughs> Native is risk-free to try. Every product comes with free shipping within the U.S., plus free 30-day returns and exchanges. But yeah, get this stuff on your armpits, dude. You stink, okay? Plus, they have options. Native has a line of sensitive deodorants for people with baking soda sensitivities. Plastic-free deodorants if you are trying to cut down on your plastic consumption. Mm. And even an unscented option if you're all about your natural musk. <laughs> and if you want to try something a little different, check out their rotating seasonal scents. Uh, you can even subscribe to Native so you'll never have to sweat about running out of deodorant again. Maybe switch to Native <laughs> today by going to Native deo.com slash tmg and use the promo code tmg at checkout and get 20 percent off your first order that's native deo.com slash tmg use promo code tmg at checkout for 20 percent off your first order stinky <laughs> what okay what you're you're in the middle of a pandemic you're working mm -hmm. remote mm -hmm. you get a new car a new dick you saying which one do you get? Yeah. You don't need a new car. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah, I'm saying. There's no new, reason we're at dick. home all the time. New new dick. New dick. Yeah. I got a new dick. Yeah. It's and it'd be for me. Yeah. You know? I'm getting it for me. You know, it's, you know, wait for it, bro. All the um women in rap, that's gonna be it's gonna be their new bars. Bye bye. Buy my man a new dick. You know, like the way <laughs> yeah, every rapper yeah, talks about buying yeah. their girl tits and shit. <laughs> Buy my man a new dick. And rapping I mean, about I can't how wait till, till we can get dick shots. Yeah, she bossed him up. She made him get a big dick to blow her shit out. Yeah. Yeah, I like this personality. Yeah. I liked who he was, but I needed that big dick, so I made him get one. <laughs> now I got a man's personality, and he blows my back out, and I made yeah. him like that. Yeah. Bought him some, like, bought him some Gucci shoes. Get him out of the flip flops. Mm -hmm. You know, bought him a new thing. Gave him dick shots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brr, I mean, you know. Yeah. I mean, I could keep going. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I mean, I could. I was like, no, please don't. Please don't. Don't. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm, I like I said, I'm gonna give it a few years. I'm gonna see if anyone dies from it. You know what kind of shit? When they when they introduce battery operation inside, that's when I'm getting it. What do you mean? Oh, like mm -hmm. uh, vibrate mode and and when my shit can be a, yeah. a mobile Sibian. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> I mean, not only that, you could have like a full on like animatronic dick. Yeah. You know? Oh, if I can be playing games on my phone and that thing is just doing the work, you know, if I'm just like... Wait, what do you mean? You know, Liam's like, I want to... I'm like, hold on, babe. And I just like... It's just stiff and just... <laughs> like, cool, yeah, have at it. You got about I'm talking minutes. it's like moving around too. Like it's maybe doing All a small that. 360. Yeah. I'll just give I'll just give Alina like a Bluetooth Flapping controller the... that looks <laughs> that looks like this with a little joystick. She's just sitting on the top, riding it like a little ride. <laughs> it's like fucking... <laughs> ah, wait, it's bugging out. I don't know what's happening. It's bugging out. Ah. Slapping your thighs. Beep 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 beep. Dude, it's just fucking. <laughs> Shit! It's just like... Shit! <laughs> fuck! 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 fuck. <laughs> Just salmoning your own thighs. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Damn it. <laughs> Gah. Get in here. This fucking thing. It's, got it's going off. so fast you can't even you can't even see it. It's just a blur. <laughs> yeah, it's just fucking. Ah! Shit. <laughs> ah, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Take the battery out. Take the battery out. Stay down. Stay down. <laughs> Gotta reset it. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> animatronic dick, damn. Speaking of animatronic willies, have you seen Willie's Wonderland? See no, I, I have not. Great segue. Have <sighs> not seen it, but heard Nicolas Cage had it had a sick hairline in that. <laughs> <laughs> he absolutely 
kills it in that movie, literally. <laughs> what he do you mean? Kills the he fuck kills the movie <laughs> out of that movie. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, he's doing murder in that movie. Lots. Of oh, murder. I see. Okay, he's killing people. Uh, no. The premise Animal. is that he's <laughs> he's a traveler. By the way, this full whole movie. So wait, spoiler alert? Are we doing spoiler alert here? I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to watch this movie because it seems like it's awful. Not really a spoiler. No, you, you need to watch this movie. <clears throat> oh, really? my God, bro. Take three shots of anything and watch this movie. Okay. You're going to have... I'm telling... I, 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 if there's <clears throat> any movie that you watch in the next seven days, it's this one. Okay. You're going to laugh your fucking ass off. Okay. This movie makes you feel so good in so many different ways. You know... Kyle and I joked that this movie got like a six or a four, but I, I take that statement back. This movie gets a hundred. Okay. Because it makes you feel so good about yourself. Be, it makes you feel like he, you, you, you'd be you, like, you can become an actor. Okay. <laughs> it makes you feel like Nicolas Cage might do your movie. Got it. You know? Yeah. It, it just so you, you watch this and you're like anyone anyone could be a filmmaker anyone could be an actor <clears throat> i can make a better movie than this with zero dollars not not so judgmental it's more like damn they're selling this for twenty dollars and i bought it fucking anything's possible <laughs> <laughs> okay that's by fair. the end of that movie you're like this you're like i i i could fight mayweather What's the general what's the general plot? So the premise is Nicolas Cage plays a <clears throat> plays a traveling man. Okay. And his car breaks down in the middle of a town. He's sort of like a nomad type guy? Yeah. Okay. Nomad Camaro guy. Okay. Ooh. Hardcore. Yeah. And so um you know, his his car him and his car get picked up because it's obviously broken. Now he doesn't have any cash, and the eight, the only ATM in town is broken. So, <clears throat> what would you do to work off the, um, you know, money that is owed on the car that's broken? You would Prostitution. go, right? Or you know, you would go work overnight cleaning a, an old Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> okay, yeah, right. That's what I would do. Yeah, that's the offer presented to him by the town. You know, and it's the most hilarious. Fuck, that scene is so good where he's like, you got any cash? And Nick Cage looks at the only, it's one ATM in the mechanic shop and it says, broken. Okay. Oh, it's broken. Dang. Looks like you had to work it off. So they take him to Willie's Wonderland. Hold on, and this is a deserted Chuck E. Cheese. Like, do they use it anymore? Well, they still do. So what you find out is <clears throat> Willie's Wonderland is is a bit haunted, and the animatronic machines in there come to life, and they try to kill Nick Cage. What? Oh my God, dude! How is Nick Cage? Is just he's so broke that he just keeps doing these stupid ass. Like, how could you ever read the script for that and be like? Yeah, this is going to be good for my career at this point. You know what, man? I thought that when we started diving deep. That guy does a fuckload of movies. To, oh, he's just trying to make his money back. I'm pretty sure he's been bankrupt for like years. Dude, you, see, you read that article how he blew 125 mil in a year? <laughs> in a fucking year? How do you even? Year. That's hard to do. Oh, it is. You think? It you is. You think? But that article proves that you can blow these. That article proved to me billionaires don't try hard enough. How do you even spend that much? What was he spending it on? Dude, he bought like weird. Uh, man, let me let me just pull it up. Nicholas Cage, two guys on the computer. Um, 125 mil <clears throat> year. 150 <laughs> million. 150 this million. My, even, this guy's my idol. Oh. Like here, because one one another Dog. thing is that like you could lose that, you could lose that much with bad investments. You know what I'm saying? That's sure. definitely that's definitely uh, like uh, 
a valid way to lose a bunch of money, but it's also like you're you're striving to earn more money, right? How do you spend yeah. 150 million dollars? That's hard to do. Let me show you. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, he yep. bought an island in the Bahamas. Okay. <laughs> he man. bought two castles in Europe. Okay. Uh, he bought a mansion in New Orleans. Okay. He bought shrunken pygmy heads. I mean, he naturally. bought a um, nine foot tall burial tomb. Yeah, it's got to go with the. Why would you do that? Apparently, 150K on a pet octopus. He bought the first Superman comic, and he bought a 70-million-year-old dinosaur skull. $276,000, and it turned out to be stolen. And Cage had to return it to the Mongolian government. <laughs> oh, my God. So it's just that's a few a bad, things. That's a bad investment right there. That's what that is. Yeah. Yeah. How okay. did he not have a business manager sitting there going like, hey. hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we got the Pickly. island, we got the castles. I don't Maybe think you don't we need, need the, the pygmy heads. <laughs> yeah. And Nick Cage is like, the heads have to go in the castle. It's like, right, <laughs> right. It's bad luck if they're not in the castle. Do you not get that? <laughs> no, the tomb is because of mummy, the mummy. You know? It's bad right. luck not to have yeah, a yeah, tomb you... in your place. Yeah. Yeah. So that remind me, did you? That was Brendan Fraser. Sorry, you guys. You know, you just you <laughs> tend to blend with me sometimes with your movies. I was gonna say you did the Mummy, but uh, yeah, but I just love, I love yeah. that movie so much that I had to get the tune. No, I know, I know, I know. I'm such a big fan of. I know Nick. That's Nicholas Cage. You know, I know Nick. He's such a big fan of Brendan Fraser. Bro, <clears throat> Nick. National Cage Treasure. That's the one I was going for. Woo! Yeah. You guys, we want to take another quick break to thank another sponsor of this episode, and that's Honey. And, uh, you know, we we know and love Honey. I sh online shop all the time. Men uh, be shopping. Men be shopping, man. That's one thing that people say about us. Dude. They say, you guys shop so much. And listen, we all shop online. And we've yeah. all seen that promo code field taunt us at checkout. But thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Yeah, Honey is the free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online. Um, this is how it works. Imagine you're shopping at one of your favorite sites when you check okay. out. Okay, hold on. The Honey button <laughs> drops okay. down and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Cody, tell them what happens next. Wait, what are the other steps? Uh, well, I think you know. Okay, well, I think you probably wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop, and that's literally all you have to do. It's great. We've used it on everything that we buy for the studio. We just bought a whole bunch of new gears, too, for, well, not going to say too much about that, but hey. let's just say we saved some cash, all right, because we bought a lot of shit. Yeah, um, so if you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in a few seconds. By getting it, you're doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash TMG. That's joinhoney.com slash TMG. Nick Cage doesn't have a single line in Willy's Wonderland. What do you mean? Let's, um, he doesn't have a line. Like He doesn't speak. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? It's just his character. He just screams. That's it. He doesn't. The whole speak movie doesn't say one a word. word. Mm -mm. Holy shit! Nope. <clears throat> That's why he took that script. He was like, "Hold on, I get to make how much? <laughs> I don't. Get, I don't say anything." Yeah. That's why yeah. I said they handed him yeah. that script. That shit just said sunglasses. <laughs> it's like, all right, Nick, your character's gonna wear sunglasses, and then they're gonna come off. And then you're going to have to kill some people. He's like, nice. Fuck I would do that. that. I would definitely do that. Run it. <laughs> Dude. Willy's Wonderland. Night in Willy's Wonderland. Pause it for a sec. His hair plugs are absurd. <laughs> absurd. We, this is what I'd be worried about with. This, this is what that frame. <laughs> Come on, man. <sighs> like I don't, I if, you know, if we get Panuma, I don't want my dick looking like whatever the equivalent is of this <laughs> in forty years. You know, dude, it looks like 
<laughs> it looks like someone's kneecap. <laughs> like, like you see, like his fore, like his head is like the shape of someone's <laughs> kneecap. You know what I mean? Like, that's just yeah. what I see. Yeah, it's just it's just wild. It's like clearly. I don't know what I don't know what it is. This is what I always wonder. Like if you're thinning and you get hair plugs, like if you say you're thinning in the middle, so that's where they put the plugs. But then you keep aging and you keep thinning elsewhere. Like why didn't they do this area too? Yeah. Like in other pictures <laughs> you can see it's just in the middle of his head and it just sprouts out like a like a palm tree and there's no hair like up until like the first two thirds of his head are just bald. Yo, calculus majors, um, here's your home here's your TMG homework. Calculate the arc on his hairline right there <laughs> and if that arc can be applied to basketball i believe that's the arc you need to land a free throw shot <laughs> i think the mathematics on his fucking hairline can be applied to that and quite possibly race car driving i actually think that is the same line you take on 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 a corner in you, a race car. you know what else it it what? could be the Nike swoosh under under uh, like upside ah, down. Ah yes, I think yes. that's the exact curve. How's that for intellectual humor, you fucking bozo? <laughs> <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. You know I'm talking to you, bro. I think, I think we're just more bullying this guy. Yeah, we are. I'm for sorry, his, dude. For his, <laughs> stop being so mean. For, for his appearance, I think that's Yo, more like what we're doing. Not really that. That's definitely what we're doing. Yeah, no, you're <clears> right. <throat> But okay. Keep playing. Keep playing. Also, wait, just real quick. No, no, wait, hold on. If you follow the line from his hairline down to his beard, <laughs> I believe that's half the track pattern for uh Monza. I believe that's half of a Formula One track. I think you could match that to half of a Formula One track. All right, let's Dude, go. Using using the Photoshop pen tool on this would be easy as fuck. <laughs> to trace his hairline. <laughs> Jeez. All right. I'm sorry. Right, hey, and look at mine's not the greatest either, man. I got a, I got a little swoop there too. You know what I'm saying? So. Willie's Wonderland. I will pay to have your car fixed. <laughs> you are officially on staff. Let's get the hell out of here. I can't stand to hear a grown man scream. This place has a dark history. I know the bullshit <clears throat> story they told you. It's a lie. You're here to be a human sacrifice. <laughs> Have you been listening to a word I've been saying? He's gonna die in here, but he won't listen to me. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? It's like the worst. Oh, you need to watch this, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. He just went in on that fucking... What was that? An ostrich? He just hacked yeah. that shit to pieces. You need to watch this. We're going to Willie's. He's not trapped in here with them. <laughs> they are trapped in here with him. <laughs> ah, they're really just going to fucking steal the Rorschach line? Is that Rorschach? Yeah. It's birthday time. I enjoy a man a few words. <laughs> oh, bro, you need to watch this. Damn, that honestly looks like one of those Amazon like two hundred dollar budget movies. What do you think the budget for this movie would have been? The what? What do you think the budget for this movie is? Probably fifty k. That's what I'm guessing. No, 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 more than that because you got to pay Nicolas Cage like a. Like at least a million, right? Like, isn't his 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 fee is probably still super high? Yeah, no, that's why I'm, I'm just gonna let you kind of work this out out loud, and then you let me know what you think this movie. Okay, costs. that's fair. Okay, so we got Nicolas Cage. I'm guessing his fee is probably a million and a half, mm -hmm. and then we have no other stars in this movie. So they basically, you know, bottom of the barrel for the rest of the actors, just whoever they could get, right? <laughs> Like I'm just, you know, one of, the, one of the actors is a producer on this movie as well. Just, just so you know that. Okay, got it. Wait, why are you, why are you saying that to me? I'm just trying to give you information, you know, to like make a, <laughs> make a guess. Okay, so they probably were acted for free. Um, let's see. We have we have special effects. 
and stuff like that. So I'm going to guess, you know, 50 K for that probably, probably shot this for like three weeks and probably was like, you know, 500 K I'm going to guess two and a half million for budget. Let's try six, six million. Oh yeah. You know, it's a great comparison watching that movie and then watching Mandy, which has Nick and his acting actually really works. Now, Mandy pacing is a little too slow. I loved, I liked the movie, but the pacing was very, very slow. But is that a, is that a reason? You can last through both. That came out a couple of years ago. I've talked about it on the podcast okay. before. Okay. But if you watch both okay. back to back and you see what's possible with $6 million, oh my God. <laughs> so it's a, it's just, it's just, you're like, oh yeah, okay. All right. All right. What, okay. what do you think compels a casting director to cast Nicolas Cage as the lead in a movie like this, where you have six million bucks and you probably could get someone better, but do you think he's so notorious? Do you think his name's still like he's cheap? He's relatively cheap compared to like other, you know, a listers, but you can still, so you can still get him, and he's decent enough where you have that star power. So it'll drive traffic, but like, you don't have to spend a ton of money. Yeah, I think so. Now, will this movie make six million dollars? I don't think so. <laughs> but, but, I think your your line of reasoning is right. I also yeah. feel that Nick, he's seen it all. He did big right. ass movies in the '90s and early 2000s. Yeah. He did those big yeah. ass films. He's been rich before. You know, he might. I I have a feeling it's not really about prestige or money at this point i think he's just i think part of him is just fucking around he yeah. did yeah he, he's done 10 movies in the last two years yeah fucking 10 and when you look at what those movies are you're like these are not anywhere close to each other wait wait in pull, terms pull, of what, category, what other ones has he done pull them up pull them up pull dude, them up i want to see he him. did this movie he did this movie recently called jujitsu which i need to watch <laughs> It came out last he's, year. He's kind of like who is Bad Grandpa? Who's that actor again? Robert De, Robert De Niro. He's still acting in just shit movies, and it's like, dude, you're a legend. You're <laughs> why would you tarnish your reputation like that? Like the most then, recent one that he done. did is one this year called what the fuck is it? Grandpa versus son, grandson versus grandpa, or some shit like that, where like they have a prank war. It's so weird. Just do they're they're just so they've done it all. They're like, who gives a fuck? Yeah, I'll do that fucking movie. Yeah, just like being in front I of the think camera. Nick Cage just isn't doing shit. So when they tell him these crazy movies, they're like, hey, you want to do a movie about jujitsu? It's kind of a ripoff of Mortal Kombat, but you know, it's it's gonna be guys doing jujitsu. Yeah, sure. He's like, fuck it. Anyway. How long is filming? I'm just, I'm just, just name it, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just around. Okay, but moving on to another movie that I finished last night and that I know you watched as well. Mm, uh, I care a it's lot. It's called I Care a Lot, and that movie. Uh, you know what? I actually liked it. No, it was good. I liked it. I saw. I, I looked it up afterwards and saw a lot of negative reviews. Like what? Just like people being like, she. I think there was this sort of like their intention was to sort of get you get you to side with her for some reason. Yeah. Like I, I was thinking about that. It's like when she when she made this crazy uh you know recovery from like attempting to or from her attempted murder basically and she makes this crazy recovery and she's like this hero. I kind of think that they were trying to get you to like feel bad for her and be on her side, but then in your head you're like, wait, this she's the worst person ever. She yeah. should have died. Yeah. Spoiler alert by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you you won't really know what I'm talking about unless you like until after you're done. Yeah, watching yeah, it, but yeah, yeah. I don't know. It was. I liked it. I liked the acting. I liked the very ending. Like the very ending, I was like, "Oh, okay. What goes around comes around." Finally, yeah. you know. Yeah. No, I thought. I thought it was solid. I think you know there was some pretty, pretty ambitious shit that they were asking you to believe. But you know, I believed it for the sake of whatever. And I thought everyone. Did a great job acting wise. Uh, dude who plays the lawyer. What is his name? Oh, he's great. Uh, he's fucking great. I mean, I don't. I don't want to just like sidestep uh, everybody. 
all the cast. I mean, was it Rosamund Pike? Yeah. That, that's the lead. Uh, she played Marla. I mean, everybody. She's incredible. Dinklage. Yeah. Uh, the, the lady who played the mom. Everybody killed yeah. it. Yeah. Everybody yep. killed it. <clears throat> So basically this movie is about uh, this woman who, she's like a con artist basically. She figures out, she's like, has this doctor in her pocket and her doctor lets her know whenever she has like an elderly patient that's suffering from a disease mentally and isn't able to like take care of themselves anymore. So then she takes them into court and she gets legal guardianship over them. And she's uh, like a roster of just, you know, geezers. She's given. <laughs> she's, got a, she's got a roster of geezers that she just, Milks. She's handing out. The She's Britney milking Spears these old treatment. people. She's giving them all the Britney Spears treatment. Just exactly sending them away. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And so instead of free Britney, it's like free Betsy. Yeah. And free. Uh, free Carl. You know. Um, yeah. And uh, you know, I'm trying to think of an old lady named Gladys. Free Gladys. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Um, but it, the movie starts. The very beginning of the movie is this guy basically freaking out on her because she locked her mom in an old folks home and barred the son from seeing her. Mm. So she, the son's like, so basically right off the bat, you're like, this is the worst person on earth, this woman. Like she's literally Satan. How could you ever do this <laughs> in life? And then as the movie goes on, you kind of realize they're trying to get you to feel bad for her almost. Yeah. And it's like, it's this weird, like pulling of feelings where you're like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be feeling because she's the worst. I just and so that's the only thing that I thought was weird about the movie, but it's good. I just felt uh, maybe it's supposed to be sort of sort of like tongue in cheek, like <clears throat> maybe it's just kind of posing you the question, like, do you feel bad? It's supposed to be a reflection yeah. of you a little bit, like right, right, right. Do you feel bad? They're like, cause you, cause you shouldn't. Yeah. Do you? Do you? Cause maybe you're a sociopath. Maybe you're an asshole. Yeah. Maybe. You ever think about that? Yeah, that's what the movie's about. Hey, bud, you might be an asshole. <laughs> Hold on, guys. We want to quickly interrupt this week's episode to say thank you to HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. HelloFresh lets you skip those trips to the grocery store and makes home cooking easy, fun, and affordable, and that's why it is America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and grocery store trips so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in about 30 minutes or less with 25, oh, excuse me, with over 25 recipes to choose from. Over each week. 25, dude. There is something for everyone to enjoy. All recipes are designed and tested by professional chefs and nutritional experts to ensure deliciousness and simplicity. HelloFresh offers the flexibility you need to cut with customizable orders every week. You can easily change or your delivery days or food preferences and skip a week whenever you need. Um, I love these bean quesadillas <laughs> that they that they made. They're fucking amazing. It's like hablano, poblano peppers yeah. and some refried beans, but they're homemade. It's like, it's so fucking good. I love it. So, Well, if you're interested in that or one of the other meal options they have you can go to hellofresh.com slash tiny meat 12 and use code tiny meat 12 for 12 free meals including free shipping that's 12 free meals when you use the code tiny meat 12 at hellofresh.com slash tiny meat 12 golden globes golden globes happened did you watch them no you didn't watch them no Neither. I didn't I didn't watch mine. <laughs> I just know but Jason. I heard there was some pretty good speeches. Yeah, I just how did they do it? Was it just like one big ass Zoom call? Was everybody virtual? I have no idea. Cause let's just let's just I'm I'm just gonna pull up a quick club. We don't even have to pull it on screen. Let's just get a look at Golden Globes twenty twenty one. No, pull it on screen. Let's like let's let Luke play it. Yeah? Let's see it. Yeah. Let's see some of the best Golden Globe. Moments. All right. <clears throat> I heard that um, Jason Sudeikis. I just saw a tweet of like when Harry Styles leaves you, or when your wife leaves you for Harry Styles. Yeah. And it was this picture, and it's him sitting there, fully mustache and a tie dye hoodie. Three, two, one. That's Cody. That's fucking <laughs> you. That's fucking Cody. Yeah, honestly, um, I'm fine with that. Cody, though. that is you. Yikes. <laughs> What's this? All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. 
What is it? I didn't hear it. I can't hear he's, it. He's remarking that Norman Lear is 99. And so he's just mouthing to himself, he's 99? Wow. <laughs> High as fuck. No idea he's on camera. He's 99. <laughs> Wow. Didn't you say someone else was high as fuck? Like, like who was it? Jason Statham or something like that? No, it was him. Oh, my God, my man. Yeah. Holy fuck. He's such a legend. Yeah. Bill Murray. Oh, my God. What a legend. Was he even at the gun? Bruh. Too good. <laughs> Dude, people don't give a shit. When you have to send in videos for home, it's like, what? For the for the what? The Golden Gloves? All right. Bro, I love how, what's his name in the, up, in the upper right is... Th- that is like the guest room of his house. Or the laundry room. Yeah, he doesn't That's even look give like a me. shit. He's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, wherever's just going to be away. Because, you know, <laughs> he's got his, <laughs> Jeff Daniels, he's got his celeb- celebrity retreat right now. He's got like 25 of his friends over. He's like, I just need to be in a part of the house. It's just away from everyone. <laughs> At least Bill Murray looks like he's partying. Yeah. He looks hammered. Yeah. <laughs> he's just... What is this for again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is my eighth martini. <laughs> I'm in my, I'm in, he's like in his party shirt. Yeah. How could you possibly give a fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you yeah. got to be a part of an award show, but you got to just sit in your house and be a part of it. If I was sitting here needing to be a part of like the Shorty Awards or some shit, I would be just, yeah, eating nachos. I'd be playing Rocket League. I would forget that I was on an award show, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. Not that that's Any other important. funny ones? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. All, all yeah. the ladies showed out. <laughs> all the ladies taking it seriously. Best dressed. All right. Cool. Nice. She's looking good. Looking good. <sighs> well, I mean. Don't we? Who was it that you said it was high, he was high when he was getting, getting his acceptance speech? Jason Sudeikis. Was it Sudeikis? Yeah. No, it was someone else, nah, wasn't nah, it? Nah, he looks stoned as fuck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> These shots true. don't I do it justice, but you can kind of tell on the left, his eyes look red. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when Rogan's high for big UFC events. <laughs> Is he really? Yeah, there's plenty of interviews like outside the octagon where he's just fucking blazed, just like... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um gg golden globes gg gg i gotta tell you the story okay so um you know and this is gonna be a little bit of a flex okay All right. i gotta be honest okay there's a little bit of flexing in this story but it's right. it's for the purpose of the story okay it's not because i'm trying to flex on you okay all right right all right. or on anyone anyone else in the audience or whatever i'm, bra- I'm okay. bracing myself Okay, so I went to Mastro's nice, Steakhouse, nice, right? Nice, nice. Kelsey and I had a plan for Valentine's Day. It didn't work out. And so we we were like, okay, let's just make a reservation in two weeks and let's go. Because <clears throat> we've never been before. Yeah. Apparently it's incredible, right? Some of the best steak you can have and seafood too. Because it's in Malibu and it's right on the water. It's, it's not flexing. It's not trying to flex on anyone. I'm just saying it's right on the water. It's good seafood, all right? So we go. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm going to blow a bag because we're here and this is the, you know, one of the first times we've been out for dinner in like forever. So wh- I'm just going to take all the money I didn't spend on restaurants. And, and blow it all in right one <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> in one restaurant at the beginning of the year. Fuck it. And then never go to a restaurant again right, for the rest of the year. Right. No. So, I, so I'm like, I'm going to get the Wagyu. I've never had Wagyu beef before ever. And I'm like, now is the time to do this. It's, I'm in a steakhouse. Let's do it. Right. So I go, I go to the waiter. He's like, what do you want? I said, I, I know I'm kind of nervous. What's the Wagyu all about? You know, I don't know. Am I going to like it? And he explains it, what it is to me. I said, okay, how do I get it? He says, medium rare plus. That's what we'll do. And I said, okay, great. And it comes, it's a little bit rare for my liking, but I figured this is how you eat Wagyu, right? I got to like stay true to the tradition and to, sh- to the chef and everything. If he suggests this, that's how I make it. That's how I should eat it. So I eat it. I eat it. And it's good, really good, right? I really enjoyed it. Wagyu beef, fucking incredible, would recommend, right? And then I was sitting there. It's a little bit fatty for my taste, so I'm sitting there. I'm kind of, I'm like half really enjoying it, half a little bit grossed out, you know, because I still, I don't like fat. Like, I don't like to be reminded that I'm eating an animal. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. 
So I'm a little bit weirded out, but still really enjoying it. It's also a little bit raw for my taste, right? So I can see the red and the fat, whatever. And so I'm almost done this meat. I'm still working on it. And the waiter comes over. He says, how was it? How do you like it? And I was like, it's good, man. It's really good. He's like, you want to see something cool? I was like, oh, sure. Yeah, fuck it. And he comes down with his phone and he goes, see that? That's the birth certificate of the cow that you're eating right now. And I was like, what? And he was like, yeah. And so see, you see that? What that is? So normally on a human birth certificate, that would be the thumbprint. But on this one, that's his nose print. That's cute. And I'm like, how, I'm like, just drop my fork and knife. And I'm like, are you r for real showing me this right now? The birth certificate of the motherfucking cow that I'm eating? Yo. <laughs> I'm like, what the Hold fuck? Up. I don't want to see this dude's nose Bro. print. Yeah, so this is when he was just like, little cute little baby. And he put his little nose here. And he thought, I'm going to have a good life. And now he's dead on your plate. Bro. Okay. That little bit right there is just underscores how fucked up rich people get. Because, you know, you're the one out of 20 guy who goes, what the fuck, dude? You know the other 19 do? Oh, my oh my God. That's the... You got to look at that. <laughs> no way. No way. Oh my There's God. no... I mean, maybe, because why else would he have that? Why oh else would he be showing it? It must be, like, normal, right? Yes, dude. You know, Rich be looking at it like, oh, look like, at that. what the fuck? Honey, see, this is how you know it's good. Look at that. Baby. Look at it. Look at it. And here's a picture of his parents right here. Oh, they look like they miss him. Those look right? They look like they miss him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> those look healthy. Okay, we're eating a premium baby. I like that. <laughs> and then, so it gets worse. It gets worse. So I asked the guy, I said, I'm like, so what? It, what is Wagyu? Because I'm still kind of curious and like, I, I'm freaked out by this. I'm done eating the steak at yeah, this point. I'm just like, I want to know the what. the Army Hammer music now. Fucking just. <clears throat> so what, 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 what else is in, what else is Wagyu? Well, let me show you. <laughs> you want to know more about the cow? And, All right, go ahead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, here's how I tortured it before I <laughs> butchered it and. But that's basically what it was. I said, what is Wagyu? Because now I'm done eating this. I want to know if this is like a veal type thing where I like, it's ethically, I shouldn't be eating this. Right. And he's like, yeah. And I said, why does it always come from Japan? It's Japanese Wagyu. I never see American Wagyu. Why is that? And he's like, well, you know, the laws in Japan are a little bit more lax. Oh. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. And he's like, you basically, they break the legs of the cow and they massage it every day. And I'm like... Why, why? Why did you ask? I found out later. I Googled it because I was so distraught by this. I got home. I Googled it. It's not true. That's a myth. Okay. It's actually, it's actually, that makes the, if, if the cow is stressed, it makes the meat worse. So they, they, they make sure the cow has an incredible relaxed life. Got it. And then they butcher it and take his birth certificate and send it to the restaurant. Yeah, so that he can show it to rich people and they go, oh my God. So they can show it to rich people and they can say, oh my, oh my God. God, thank you. You mind if I get a copy of that? I'm going to frame yeah. that. At home because I love this steak so much. What's his name? Cecil. What's his name? Cecil. Oh my god, Cecil. that's beautiful. <laughs> just gonna, we have a wall of cows that we, you know, we've eaten, and um, we just love to have Cecil up there with the, with the rest of the gang. Yeah. Cecil. Yeah, he'll be up there. He'll be probably second or third. He definitely wasn't better than Beatrice. <laughs> oh, Beatrice. And then the rich people have the rich people friends come over and they're like, hey, "That was Cecil. Oh my." Boy, if I could have cloned that boy, I'd, I'd, I'd tell you what, I'd, I'd made five of that boy right yeah. there. So he just... In fact, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did. I tried. <laughs> I t the restaurant, boy, <laughs> Master Rose is like, actually, yes, we do have some of these saliva cells <laughs> in the, we could, in the we back. We could clone him. For, 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 specifically for this request. We could clone him and have, um, have another order ready in six months. Oh! <laughs> you don't say... <laughs> so, anyways, that was my story. Nice, dude. I, you know, I got yeah. I basically got to know, got to know the cow that I put in my mouth. Um, yeah, which was I got a Malibu story as well. Yeah, tell me. What's so, up? Alina and I, you know, now that I'm big dad, you know, big caddy daddy, you know. Oh right, right. Okay. You know? By the way, I don't like to give free clout, but you know that Yadalac, the Yadalac Escalade Twenty One. Yes, Calais. 
Oh, the 21. Yeah, they upgraded me. Did you upgrade or something? Did you trade yours in for the they new one? They upgraded me. They were like, you want to drive the new one? I was like, yes. What? What the fuck? I don't understand. There's... Why do they got your balls in their mouth, dude? I don't know. Shit's fire, though. It's like Cadillac get hop off dude, the dick. Black on black. I got the I got the murdered out emblems. Shit is cold. Dude. That's I'm sick. telling you, I've never got so many looks on a car. Everywhere I take that I'm car, jealous. people just... Is it the black on black Yadalak? Yeah, is that, the, is that the Yadalak Escalade? <laughs> so what happened? You took it to Malibu? So we took it to Malibu. You know, it was a nice little cruise, and we went up to um. So it's like a little seafood type shack that's at the bottom of a hike. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Um, it's called the Lobster Shack, isn't it? I forget. Okay. Either way, we go there. Um, it's blue. It's got a lobster on it. I think so. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um. They're, they're, it's on PCH, right? Yeah, they're super nice. Yeah. You know, I, I I was surprised by this. I was like, hey, let me ask you something annoying. I got a mild allergy. You mind just wiping down the grill? They're like, yeah, totally. I was like, dang, that's love right there. And I knew they did that for me because there are other people that ordered after me, but our order came out last because I know they cooked all that shit and they cleaned the grill and then they cooked mine. At least that's what I think because I didn't taste that. What did you get? You know, it's got me a little chicken sandwich, baby. Oh, gotcha, okay. But... I didn't taste an ounce of fish. And I was like, right. that's cool. Anyway, we park, park the car. I haven't even been there for five minutes, and there's a family eating their order next to us. I turn off the car, and I just hear the mom go, yeah, well, it's Adam and Eve. It's not Adam and Steve. And I go, oh, wow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, no. I'm like, yep, we're in Malibu. <laughs> oh, no. And I just oh, hear her man. bitching about like bathrooms and gender identity and shit. I'm, and I just wanted to lean over and be like, I mean, and she had the classic Karen cut. That shit was a <laughs> helmet wrapped around her fucking head. I just wanted to get up and go to her and be like, give your husband a break. <laughs> you already got one viral clip. You've been complaining about shit like your entire life. Just eat the fucking fish. <laughs> the water is right there. You got this beautiful. Well, I, I can't eat it yet. I, I don't. I don't know its name. I got to go to the cook and yeah, ask I need what the to fucking know what name, the name of, of the fish was. I have to know where it came from. I need from. to know how it was murdered. <laughs> yeah. I need to know it died a horrible death because I feed off of people <laughs> suffering. That's how I get my food. You know, I'm, I just I, I was like laughing. I'm like, how in front of this water and on this day that is so beautiful? It's like one of the best days in LA we've had in a minute. During this fucking well, Adam and Eve, extremely Adam and shitty time. And that's what you're talking about? It's Adam, it's, it's, it's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Like, oh my fuck, man, it's Sunday. Give it a rest. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode. And I'll reveal that name in three seconds. Un de trois. Now, maybe to you that sounded like gibberish, but actually I was counting to three in French. And I learned that from Babbel, the number one selling language learning app. One of my goals for the new year was to learn a new language. And Babbel has made the whole process addictively fun and easy with bite-sized lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. The real world. Merci. <laughs> Babbel's 15-minute lessons make, the, make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Unlike the infamous language classes you took in high school, Babbel designs their courses with practical, real-world conversations in mind, things you'll get to use in everyday life. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language experts. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. So start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Uh, right now, when you purchase a three-month subscription of Babbel, you'll get an additional three months free. That's six months for just the price of three. Just go to Babbel.com and use promo code TMG. That's B-A-B-V-E-L.com, code TMG, for an extra three months for free. Babbel, language for life. Croc madame. <laughs> we pulled up. We pulled out to uh, Mastro's and we get out of the car. Valet, no flex. <laughs> and this person right... Behind us comes in. She valets her car. It's like four, like, real housewife, like, looking women. And they were like, 
it's us again. And the valet was like, you guys are back. And she's like, yep. And then they were talking right beside us and they were like, like no mask. Like they they were wearing their masks around their ears and they were like hanging cool. off. <laughs> like, like right next Sweet. to us. They were like, fucking. She was like, <clears throat> I swear, if we get the same waiter as last night, I'm going to be pissed. I was like, you were here last night? This place is like... <sighs> It's like a million fucking dollars. Yeah, it's a, it's a how are you? How did you come last? What is special for you? If you this is your nightly thing, is is the nicest steakhouse on the west side, bro? That it's that ridiculous. Black Mirror episode a while back of uh, San Junipero, where the, it was like the old ladies and like the. You remember that episode? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Eighties yeah. one. Yeah, and like they're like living in like the fucking virtual world, and they're like you know, in in real life, they're actually like. You know, on hospice and immobile. Yeah, Malibu to yeah. me is like bizarro world like that. Like I think the people there are just so unbelievably out of touch with the rest of the world. Like they just don't have a concept of anything. I don't know. I think it's half. It's, you no, know, it's yeah. You, it's probably like not all surfers of them. and whatever, and half people that live up in the gated. I've definitely seen some crazy shit in Malibu for sure. Like met crazy out of touch people and stuff like that but i've also like met cool people no yeah it's definitely not all of them but it's just i think that whole area is just bizarro land like yeah I, it's just funny yeah it's, it's, it's adam and eve not adam and steve i was like oh <laughs> shit <gasps> yeah Whew. yeah damn yeah, it, was, it was nice to to go outside that was a that was, Did you guys go for a hike or something, or you just go to that? Nah, we just went, and then it was dope. We just kicked open the the trunk of the Cadillac, and then we just sat in the trunk, listening to the breeze, man. Let it flow through. Fuck yeah. Eating just a little joyride in the Yachty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. Yup. Um, oh, by the way, someone asked, someone was like, you guys can go to restaurants, but you can't do the podcast together? We couldn't even do it right now if we wanted to, all right? Because there's something in the yeah, works. Yeah, we're working on something. So trust me, just hold you out. You failed for the fucking couple weeks. The the reading comprehension part of the fucking SAT. Because we've been dropping hints for weeks now. <laughs> <sighs> we'll be together again shortly, people. I know. I know. You guys want to see us lock hands, lock eyes, and all. You got all this, all those fantasies. You got fucking fan fiction. I'm sure. <laughs> Jesus. How do you guys want to see us fucking breathing the same air, getting close? Yeah. Pathetic fantasy. You horny little fucking sick fuckers. I just was trying to come up with a way to to shame people. 